see that? They're eating. Huh? These are made of Corellas. And they're eating our olives. Very noisy bastards. Hi! <laughs> Trying to be very quiet so I don't bother them. You can see this tree here. They're absolutely lovely birds. And they drop these huge white feathers with yellow, yellow tinging to them. Oh, I'm missing that. Oh, that was beautiful. They're all around me. This is lovely. <laughs> They're really beautiful. I really. And they have lovely flushes of pink near their faces. I, I don't know if you can see that. Here we go. See, here's one. Oh, oh, it just flew past me. Oh, I missed it. Where is it? Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, guys. Can you see the flushes of pink on its little face? Hello. Oh, there it goes. Well, I'm going to leave these guys to feed. Aren't they lovely? Absolutely lovely birds. Lenny! Lenny! There's a crow in a tree talking to itself. Hello! Hello! Her, her! You're gonna have a pee pee, Lenny. I just, okay Lenny, I just noticed something about these birds, which I, I don't know if you can see in the video. They have pink bums. <laughs> like the, fur, the, the feathers over the cloaca are pink. <laughs> what is it doing? Oh, my cat is trying to get my cat's attention. Yeah, I know, buddy. Yes, I know. Lenny, are you hungry? You hungry? Lenny. You know that little dinosaurs, really? They're, just... They're everywhere. Look at that.
And the thing they're saying about these little guys is that they're ha having trouble finding food and that's why they've been around this area so much because the thing with these guys is they live a very long time so that might look like they're plentiful but we're not entirely sure if they're reproducing. So if these guys are finding food in my yard I do not begrudge them. I don't mind them eating... Yeah, I know. That's my Lenny. I don't mind them eating our olives. We usually have more to spare. We have more than we need every year. We only need a couple of hundred to put in some jars to have with our salad every summer. Do it the, uh, over here too, I think. We do it the uh, Maltese way, where my grandmother used to do it. We use her recipe for the olives. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a rare privilege to have these little guys in our yard feeding. It's, it's lovely. And they're very personable too. And they're, also, they're not scared of my cat. Because <laughs> Lenny's not really interested in birds. I apologise for the black smudge in the middle of the camera. Unfortunately, I can't afford a new one. And yeah. It's lovely to watch them fly about and talk to each other. Now, um, in uh, they they roost at night just in Lake Claremont, which is within a kilometre from here. It's about an 800 walk, meter walk to the south. And uh, and they're. Uh, quite numerous. If you go there, there's, flat, there's feathers everywhere. And they just, they're everywhere, talking to each other. You can hear them in the distance. Oh, look at that one. That's funny. I'll see if I can get closer. Probably not. There's one right above my head. looking at me. Oh, how precious. That's good. He's watching them. Yeah. Are you watching them, Lenny? Are they interesting? Those birds? Or are you just hungry? Yeah, you're hungry. You don't give a crap about birds, do you? You prefer rats? Yeah? You like rats better? Because you're a good boy? Good boy? That good boy that eats all the rats. Hmm? And the chicken. Do you want some chicken? Mummy's got chicken. Do you want chicken? I'm just rubbing this back of my foot. Lenny? Do you want chicken? I'll get you chicken. I think I nearly got crapped on by this crow. It's right above my head. Listen, asshole, don't shit on me. Oh, they just left on, on mess. Oh, there they go. Oh, that was beautiful. There they go. They're off back to Claremont, I think. I if you can see that. Lenny? You ready for some breakfast? You ready for some breakfast? 
Come on, number. Oh, this one's going to the tree.